Hey everyone, it's tour guide Sarah here and today I'm going to be telling you about my internship experience so far at Pace University. So if you're new to the page and haven't met me yet before, I'll do a little bit of a short introduction. So again, my name is Sarah. I am an arts and entertainment management major, a part of the Lubin School of Business and the Forsheimer's Honors College. I'm going into my senior year in the fall as well. So internships have been a large part of my PACE path so far. One of the main reasons I chose PACE was actually because of the connections the university had to tons of major companies within industries in New York City, especially within the entertainment industry, since that's what I'm looking to go into after graduation. For an arts entertainment management major specifically, it's really important to figure out before you graduate what form of the entertainment industry you want to be a part of. So whether that's music, film and television, theater, or dance. For me, I used the five different internships I've had so far to kind of figure out and land upon what I want to do after graduation and which facet of the industry I want to be a part of. So we'll kick things off with my first internship, which I had the summer after my freshman year. It was with JCC Center Stage, a local theater in my hometown of Rochester, New York. So I actually found this internship through my connections with the theater itself. I did a few theatrical productions there when I was younger and growing up within theater, and I also took acting and voice lessons with the director too. So I took advantage of that connection, and when I went back that summer, I asked my director, Ralph, if he'd be willing to take me on as an intern, and from there, that was my first internship experience. That brings us to my second internship with a small startup company called Get Tape in New York City. The company Get Tape focuses on preparing audition reels and editing audition reels for actresses and actors within the New York City area. So a lot of the work I did was in terms of editing video footage as well as booking client appointments. I found this specific internship through Chris Ramos, the executive director of the Arts Entertainment Management Program at Pace. He does a really amazing job with sharing his connections within the industry to us students by sending out email blasts for different internships and part-time positions he can find. Through Professor Ramos's industry connections, us students get first choice at internships, and some companies even form such a close relationship with the university that they go straight to Professor Ramos to look for interns to fill their positions. Since this was my first New York City-based internship, I made sure before I landed the position to head down to Career Services and get my resume and cover letter tailored specifically for the position. Shout out to Career Services, they help me out so much. I love their one-on-one -on -one support and they always make sure that my resume and cover letter is perfect before I go to an interview. After finishing my first New York City-based internship in the fall, I was ready to hit the ground running and have an internship every semester because I just loved being busy and having that full pack schedule while also learning about so many different opportunities within the entertainment industry. So that brings me to my third internship internship with Jean Dominion Productions in New York City. The production company is a Tony Award winning, Academy Award, and Golden Globe nominated film, television, and theatrical production company founded by the esteemed producer Jean Dominion. Some of their most notable productions include Tony Award winning musical Book of Mormon, as well as the recent revival of Angels in America on Broadway. I also found out about this position through Chris Chris Ramos as one of the main connections to the company was that one of their full-time faculty was an alum of the Arts Entertainment Management program at Pace. So a lot of my day-to-day -day duties included preparing coverage of plays, screenplays, and pilots that noted the quality of the writing, the intended audience, and the commerciality of the piece as a whole. So after completing my coverage, I would send it to the head producers at the company. They would read it over and figure out if they wanted to produce that work. It was really cool to be able to be the first set of eyes to see a piece, and it really made us important as interns because we took a lot of that busy work away way from the head producers. So what was great about working within this company specifically is that they were a really tight-knit group of employees. There was only about 10 people in the office, so we all got to know each other really well, and we actually had morning staff meetings every morning where we talked about the slate of projects, headlines within the entertainment industry, and what we were currently covering in terms of the plays and screenplays and pilots. 
After my internship was completed in the spring with JDP, I did not waste any time and I had another internship in the summer. So the summer of my sophomore year, I had an internship with Impact PR based in New York City. They're a music public relations company that focuses on doing the publicity for smaller indie artists. This position I yet again received through Chris Ramos. I'm very thankful for his connections because I wouldn't have had half of these internships without him. But this internship gave me the ability to look at public relations for the first time. I realized that this was something I really wanted to do. However, I wanted to be more within the film and television field rather than music. Some of my day-to-day -day tasks at the company included writing and emailing client pitches to send to major media outlets. I actually got to send emails day-to-day -to, -day to major music publications such as Billboard and Rolling Stone, which was really cool. I also designed a lot of MailChimp campaigns for clients, newly released albums, singles, music videos, and tours. I created social media campaigns using Adobe Premiere Pro. I designed one sheets through Photoshop and Canva. And so I did a lot of graphic design work as well for the company rather than just publicity. So that brings us to my fifth and most recent internship with Frank PR based in New York City. They are a public relations and marketing agency specializing in creating campaigns for films, television shows, and events. Some of their most notable clients include Netflix, MGM, A24, The Food Network, Warner Media, and so many more. This was my first time I actually got to work with clients that I was a fan of and work on movies, public relations campaigns that I actually saw in theaters myself. I found this position through a posting by the company through LinkedIn. Some of my day-to-day -day tasks included collecting and organizing daily press breaks for clients, creating and updating media tour schedules, building media lists, wrap books, and face sheets for premiere and screening events, drafting and editing press releases for upcoming films and television shows, watching client movies before they're even released, pulling clips and taking notes and then presenting them to the staff, and and then also managing private media events in screenings in order to assist the high profile clients in attendance. So that was a lot of stuff I got to do under them and some of my favorite experiences so far living and going to school in New York City has happened through this internship. A second experience with the Academy Awards or the Oscars actually happened through this company as we are in charge of the publicity for the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences. Another life-altering experience that happened for me during this time that I still can't believe happened was my ability to work on the floor for the opening event for the Athena Film Festival. Through that opportunity, I got to meet and escort one of my idols, director Greta Gerwig, throughout the event and I got to chat with her one-on-one -on -one about her most recent project, Little Women. I was so happy that I got to have those experiences before we were shifted online because of COVID-19. I still was able to complete the internship, but we did have to shift onto online working. My most recent experience with Frank PR is actually one of my favorites to date. It is the first time I felt like the work I was doing was something I wanted to do for the rest of my life. It opened my eyes to public relations within film and television and made me realize that this is definitely where I want to be. With all of my internships in mind, I still can't believe, it's really hard to believe, that I would be able to receive these positions and learn so much about the industry before I even graduate. Being able to work in a New York City-based company as an intern is really magical, I guess is the best word to say. A lot of these experience I wouldn't have if it wasn't for New York City as well as going to school at Pace University. Pace has so many great resources to get students foot in the door and to make sure that they are prepared before they even graduate for life outside in the city. So I'm so thankful to Pace University, to Career Services, to Professor Chris Ramos, and to New York City as a whole for making me who I am today day and for hopefully landing me more and more internships and eventually a full-time position in the future. So thanks so much you guys for listening to my internship journey. This has been amazing. Thank you all so much and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!